Yo, what's happening out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's all about the gift cards to friends glitch. But in this video, we're going to be going over how to actually get an aircraft. And an aircraft as big as the Bambushka from a friend, all right? A few requirements. We'll get into it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Okay, so getting back into this video, what you are going to need, first of all, shout out to the founders, Lost and Vladdy. Both their names are down in the description. Go check them out. Uh, what you're going to need is join a friends only session. That's what I'm doing in this session. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, you need a bunker, the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, an RH8 stored inside, and you need a Fagio or a Sanchez from another garage. Just make sure it's not from the clubhouse, you know, any car garage basically. And obviously you need the one friend with the vehicle you want. So Lost is giving me this Bambushia here that's on Benny's. And you need to kind of maneuver it, but you got to park it on top of this pink circle right here, okay? And something very important, you need to fill up your hangar with Pegasus vehicles before you try to fly this thing in there. Your hangar must be full to fly this thing in there so you don't get a dead spot. Okay, so for those of you that didn't watch the last video, these are the locations. So this is the hot ring circuit that we're using to spam and get glitched out. Where This is the spam right d-pad job. Then you have a contact mission right below it. That is actually deadline four. That's the mission that your friend is going to need to join so that he can actually kick you. Okay, so your friend is going to be doing... So whenever I say your friend needs to join a job, it's deadline four. That blue circle right there next to the pink circle. Okay? So you're going to see that later in the video. Anyways, this is how we park the Bambushka so that we can get the right D-pad option. So you can even do it with a vehicle this big. It does work. Now we're going to go ahead and go get into, you know, the beginning of this glitch. So what's happening right now is I'm driving into my bunker with the RH8 that's stored in my MOC. So all I did was from the from the outside of the bunker, I opened up my interaction menu, went to mobile operations center and requested personal vehicle. All right. So now that I have that RH8, we're driving into my bunker. Now, my friend is going to go ahead and start up deadline four and just sit in deadline four. OK, that same that blue marker that was right next to the pink circle. OK, over there in Blaine County by the airport. So he's sitting in deadline four that, uh, you know, the regular adversary mode mission right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to join him. And then while the alerts coming in, be on the animation. So I'm going to get ready to go here. I'm just going to press right D-pad and quickly go to join him. All right. So right D-pad, go to join him. I got the alert in the middle of the animation and accept it all the way through. Once I'm in the job, he's going to go ahead and kick me. The timing there is a little bit tricky for Xbox, but you have to find your timing. Okay. You, you, that alert needs to come up during the animation. Okay. So now that we're getting into this part, my friend Lost is going to go ahead and just kick me from this job. Remember, he just needs to be sitting in deadline four right here. Okay. So once he realizes that he needs to kick me, I think he was on his other account. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and kick me and then it's going to spawn me right there at that job marker at the airport. So what I need to go ahead and do is run into the Bambushka that he's giving me. And this is what I call the RH8 spam. OK, so we're going to go ahead and open up our phone. And what our friend is going to do is get out of that job and go to his MOC. Your friend can actually request the MOC right there at the airstrip. OK, so he can have the MOC really close by. So he has to go into his MOC and send me an invite. That's what he just did right there. I'm going to accept the invite and spam on right D-pad. OK, if done correctly, you will spawn up and actually load into the job lobby. All right. So I'm in the job lobby right now. I'm just going to simply press B or circle and confirm the alert to back out. Once I back out, we should see something, you know, something similar that we've seen in the past. All right. I'm going to back out and I'm going to be close to the vehicle. I recommend running to the vehicle and actually getting in it. But check this out. I wasn't even able to get in the vehicle and I still got hit with the black screen. And look what happened. If you saw my last video, this is what you want to see. Look, you see that I spawned in with my RH8 in the MOC. That's what you want to see. You need to spawn in the MOC with your RH8. If your RH8 is not there when you spawn in the MOC, you need to begin from the beginning or start over from the beginning of the glitch. OK, so if you're on track with me, you're good to go. All right. You spawn in your MOC with the RH8. Go ahead and run outside on foot. All right. 
This is where you want to go ahead and open up your motorcycle club menu and request a Fagio or a Sanchez that's in another garage. All right, don't mention these indestructible fences. <laughs> I just had to punch it out of the way. But yeah, so once I have my Sanchez here from a different garage, I'm just going to go ahead and take it into my bunker. Now, the reason I've seen some other YouTubers, they've used the RH8 to get frozen right here behind the MOC. I don't like using the RH8. The consistency is a lot less on the RH8. I think a bike works a lot better. All right. So once I have my Sanchez right here, I'm going to park it in this location uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit right D-pad. Now, my friend needs to be in deadline four again. OK, so I just accepted that full alert since the RH8 is in there and I'm frozen. I can't move the mini map or, or I can't move my angle, nothing like that. So my friend is sitting in deadline four again. I'm going to go ahead and just join him and join all the way through. OK. So while I was doing that, my friend is just getting back into deadline four, that same job that we were using before. All right, so there he is, and all he's gonna do is kick me from it once again, okay? So now that, now that we're getting kicked, this is the process to actually receive the car, okay? That's the first half of the glitch. This is what I call the first spam to get into the car, okay? Or to, or to get, you know, the vehicle that your friend's giving you. In this case, it'd be the Mambushka. So I'm gonna hurry up and run into the, the vehicle that my friend is giving me, the aircraft, and I'm gonna accept the MOC invite once again that they're sending me and spam right D-pad, okay? So your friend needs to back out of that job and get into their MOC to send you an invite. Now, once I have spawned into the job lobby like this, I'm gonna back out just like we did before, okay? So you need to do this part twice, all right? At least twice. Sometimes it might happen the first, you know, the first attempt, but usually you have to spam and do this method twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the Bumbushka and we're gonna do the same thing. Have your friend send you another MOC invite and we're gonna be spamming once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the vehicle right here and I'm just gonna simply wait for that MOC invite. I think, yeah, I fast forwarded here just a little bit because it took him a little while to get out of the job and back into the MOC. So he's gonna go ahead and send me an MOC invite right on my phone. I'm gonna accept it and spam right D-pad right away. Okay, just keep spamming right D-pad for a few seconds, all right? You don't have to spam like crazy, but a few seconds at least. If you see the screen all like, you know, that black, the, the blackness around the screen just kind of, you know, absorbs in. It's that like flashy type of screen. That's a good sign. Usually you're gonna get sucked in after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually back out of the job once I spawn into it. And then I'm gonna spawn back down by the plane and I need to quickly get into the aircraft, okay? Hurry up and get into your aircraft. I'm gonna hop into it and then I should be hit with a black screen very soon, okay? Uh, if you don't get a black screen, see right there, I successfully got it. You know you hit it right there. Now, you need to get that, that flashy black screen isn't like a necessity, but it is a good sign that it did work. Now, obviously the Mambusha doesn't show up here because it's too big of a vehicle, so it just looks like I spawned in with nothing, but trust me, it works. Now, that spamming part, if you don't get it after that second spam, just keep doing that, that method over and over again. Every time you back out of that job, have your friend send you another MOC invite, get in the vehicle, accept the MOC invite, and spam right D-pad, okay? Just keep doing that until you get sucked in with the vehicle, eventually you will, okay? Just give it like 15 seconds or so, if it doesn't happen by then, you're gonna be spamming, okay? So as you, as you saw right there, the Sanchez was actually outside, it was overridden. So with this method, the bike is what's getting overridden, okay, when you're doing this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my MOC and request personal vehicle. This is how you wanna save the aircraft inside of one of, uh, of your hangar, basically, okay? So I wasn't gonna leave that out at all. Because right now it's in the MOC. So as you can see right there, it's my vehicle, it's in the MOC, I've just requested it. Now you need to fly this big boy, or yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is a big boy, man. You need to fly this thing back over to the hangar, okay? This is a monster plane. This thing is crazy, so you need to make sure you have decent flying skills, you know, and go ahead and take this back to your hangar. Make sure your hangar is full, okay? You see right here, when I press right D-pad, I'm gonna get a full alert. A, a vehicle must be removed from the hangar. That's a good thing, okay? You wanna, re we're gonna be removing something from the hangar. You don't wanna, you know, just drive it in there into an empty spot, because that's how you'll create a dead spot in your CEO. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and overwrite one of these buzzers that I have. I overwrote the buzzard, you don't see it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the floor right now for you. But uh, yeah, so right here I'm gonna move it to the floor and there it is, all right? That's the Bambushka that I just got, all right? It's got Benny's rims, everything on it. Looks pretty good, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much the entire glitch, guys. This is how you fully save it. You will have a copy in your MOC still, so you actually have like two dupes. 
uh, you can overwrite the one in your MOC if you want or change the color and you know put it uh, another one into your into your hanger that's all up to you okay but that's gonna be it for me guys my name is roll easy I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something make sure if you're brand new to the channel subscribe by pressing that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.